Hey guys, it's Amanda, and I'm going to be doing this uh, Fall Loves um, tag made by MacBarbio7. Sorry, I need to get the questions up when my phone locked. Um, so, um, I, there might be some variations in some of these questions that I'm doing, and I'll talk about that when I get there, but it, they won't be like dramatically big. Um, so, the first question, I mean, the first thing is for the beauty and fashion section is your top five makeup fall makeup items now I um, as you guys know I don't wear a ton of makeup I know I'm wearing a lot right now just because I was like testing some things out but so there's not like completely um, really really fall things or um, you know or like dramatically fall things because you know I don't wear dramatic makeup but I have been I'll show you some things that I have been using that I guess you know has to do with fall. So first is this. Um, was this the Give Me Liberty of London collection? I'm not exactly sure, but it's from Mac, and this it's the Beauty Powder in Summer Rose, and this is really pretty, and it's good for fall because it's like pink, like because I like pink blushes, um, but it has a hint of like purplish if you can see that in there. So that's like perfect for fall because it kind of has that purple tone, you know, warmer. Um, so I really like that. Um, and then is this lip stain. And I've been obsessing over this from NARS. And a, lo a lot of these things um, are actually like limited edition. So I'm really sorry about that. But this is the NARS Lip du Duo in Turkish Delight and Sayonara. Sayonara. Um, so I, I'm going to be talking about this one. I'm not sure if you can buy it by itself. I think so. I'm not sure because it came in the holiday um, set last year. Like it came double sided. But I've been really loving this because it's like a dark color. I like wearing darker lips. This is the um, one and it just, I, I don't like putting a lip gloss over it. I like how it looks matte. So I just wear it like that and I really, really like it. And next is this grease paint stick from MAC. And I have been searching for ways to use this because this is in the color below ground and it's in that color. It's like really dark. Well, it's a bronzy color, so you can't really use this like, you know, all over your lid. Well, I know I can't. So I've been trying to think of ways I can use this. And the way I have been using it is as an eyeliner. And I remember because I when I like first got this, I would try it as an eyeliner just out of the tube and I'd try putting it on and just be all thick and, you know, not cute. Um, so I would take my, um, eyeliner brush and I just take it on the tip like that, just like wipe it off, and then I put it on my lash line, and it makes it like, um, here I'll zoom in so you can see. So that's what it looks like, um, I think it looks really pretty, like just bronzy kind of color, um, I know that was really awkward zooming in, um. But next is this lip gloss. So I have another kind of lip gloss thing. But this is from MAC and I have been liking, I've been loving this even like before fall. But like I recently just got right back into it. This is the Cream Sheen Gloss in Loud and Lovely. So again, it is a bright lip gloss, but this is what it looks like on. Um, it's very sheer. You can definitely build up the coverage. You can put it over a little lipstick. If you put this over a nude lipstick, it makes it um, a lot le more toned down. But I like it like this. It's like um, bright lips without being like too dramatic. And then next is this um, trio from the MAC. Well, I forgot what collection it was from, but it's in Soften the Mood. And it looks like this. Sorry. Um, and it has those colors in it. And the color that I've really been liking, I put, I showed this in my August favorites, but it's this middle color right here. And I know this doesn't really have to be, have really that much to do with fall, but I just really like it at the moment and I don't have any more fall inspired kind of things. But yeah, it's just really natural. I have that on my lid right now for today. So I really like that. And the next thing, I'm pretty sure it's nail products. I'm not sure. Um... No, hair product. So my favorite hair product for fall is this KQC Thermal Shine Heat Protectant because I have been straightening my hair a lot more, like, because it, I'm going to be, well, I just started school today, so I know that I'll be straightening my hair a lot more. So I like this, so it gives it shine, 
and it's really dry like it's not drying it's dry so like when you spray it out it, you don't have to like wait for your hair to you know dry with all the wetness it like actually you know just stays on it you barely have to wait for it to dry so you can just straighten your hair right away if you're like rushing so the next is um nail polish so these two i want to show you and then there's another one that i want to talk about because i don't have a lot of um fall nail polishes because i have more like see all my nail polishes back there i have more you know bright ones and then i have some right there that are all like me but i want to show you what i did with my nails i um marbled them and i think they look so cute okay but so i'm more of that kind of actually i like darker colors but i don't know i just accumulated more brighter colors but the ones that I have now that I've been really liking, there's actually two that I want to show you. But then I'm going to talk about another one too, but I don't actually have it. This is the OPI Nail Polish in Glitterland. And it's just like this shimmery gold color, which I really like. I talked about this in my August favorites also. And then this one is from Essie in Chinchilli. And it's just this like dark gray color. So I've been really liking these because they're, you know, kind of fall inspired, but not super fall. And the next one that is super fall inspired is the You Don't Know Jacques from OPI. I actually don't have that. Both, two of my, yeah, only both of my friends. No, um, two of my friends, because I have more than two, obviously. But, um, two of my friends have that nail polish. And I, every time I go over to their house and I see it, I'm like, oh, can I put this on? And I put it on. So next time I go to the beauty supply store, I need to get that because I really love it. So I know I just cheated using three nail polishes, but sorry about this. Um, and now is favorite fall scent. I forgot to grab this one, but this is the uh, Vera Wang Princess. This is like the original one. And I really like this. I actually got this for free. It was a little bit used. Um, well, actually, it was just a little bit more than this used. But still, I got it for free, and it was from my mom's friend. She got, bought this, and she used it a while. She didn't really like it that much. She thought it was more, like, youthful, so she gave it to me. And so, it's really kind of like more warmer scents. I don't, you know, you think of fruity scents for summer. And I've always been the person that doesn't really like fruity scents. I kind of like more strong scents, even though, you know, I am young. I don't know, but I really, really like it. And that's the Vera Wang Princess. And then, most worn clothing iron, uh, iron item and accessory. So, I have been... I just started school, so I haven't been wearing a lot of my new clothes. I actually only wore one thing today. But I have a little guess thing for when I um, get into start fall. This is what I think I'll probably be wearing a lot because I think it's so cute. But here, look at this. So this is from Bloomingdale's. And this is, it's so cute. Okay, so it's this um, Wild Fox. It's from the brand Wild Fox. And it's this sweater it's like this reddish kind of orangey color and it just has this leopard on it i think it's so cute so i think i'll be wearing this a lot because it's you know super cool and comfy it has a lot like lo it's kind of quarter length sleeve so you know more fall ish um next is oh the accessory i these are these earrings they're not super fall you know they're just normal these are the um, Tiffany & Co. earrings. Oops, our baby hairs. Um, but I really like these. These are like my most worn accessory. And who's your fall style icon? I actually don't have a style icon because I am like really small. Uh, and the things that I see in the magazines and stuff, I can't really wear the same kind of stuff. I have to shop at kids stuff. So I don't really have one. Um, which is unfortunate. I wish I can just be like, ooh, I want to dress like her, you know? But uh, I can't really. Okay. Going, okay, yeah, these are the um, random follow-up questions. It says, going to a corn maze, what do you wear? Um, I don't have corn mazes where we are. Wait, is that? No. But it's at this place, but it's like a haunted one. Okay, well, anyways, I don't want to go to those because it will scare me. But, I don't know, it depends if you're going with, you know, if you're going with your friends, then I just wear jeans and whatever. But if I'm going, like, I don't know, with a big group of people, I can maybe dress it up a little bit more. Um, kind of hard to, you know, actually choose. Say, favorite Halloween movie? Um, I really like the Halloween Town, like, all of those videos, I really, uh, videos, all of those, um, 
movies, I really like them. Favorite Halloween candy? Um, Starburst, probably. I just really like Starburst. Um, what are you being for Halloween? Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be this, but I really hope I am because I really want to be it. Um, me and my friend are going to be masquerades. So it would be like, fun being able to just dress up, get all girly and pretty, wear uh, makeup and stuff. Um, yeah, so we're going to be masquerades, but we just have a mask on and like, ball gowns. So I think that would be really cute. So I'll have a link in the down bar for the people that I um, tag. But if you weren't tagged, then still make this um, tag video. You can leave it as a response. But I hope you